Okay, our next step is to take this part of the, uh, it's like a cap on the fuel tank here. We need to take it off. There is a tool that fits right in there and twists it right off for you. Too cheap to buy one, so we're just going to use a ratchet strap. Okay, we pull it off and we can tell right away what the problem is with our fuel sending unit. The uh, intake with the screen on it just completely fell out. I'm going to have to fish that out of the tank. Okay, here's our fuel sending unit. It's out and uh, we've got our part to replace the, the broken part. You see that and this is what I dig, dug out of the, uh, the fuel tank. So got a replacement part in and clearly this part was broken and had to fix that but um, one of the other common issues is that this uh, little orange uh, one-way valve will sometimes come out so sometimes that's your, your only issue and what a lot of guys will do is actually just plug this uh, so um, it's a cheap way to deal with it but overall this part's just 30 bucks so to me it's worthwhile getting it done right so it, this actually does fit right on there just like that and of course it'll slide all the way up and I, mine had just fallen off so I'd recommend actually a stainless steel worm clamp putting on there but before we put it back on there are two filters in here we want to make sure that those are clean replace them if they need to be or just uh, clean them out we don't want to that can uh, restrict your flow to the fuel pump and of course that put more strips on the pump than we need so we're gonna go ahead and take this bottom part out there are three little pieces here uh, retaining the uh, the bottom here and it just will slide out so we'll remove it check the filters and then uh, plug and play on this and pretty much a no-brainer okay we've removed the bottom of that fuel sending unit and we're looking at the filters here this one's actually in really dang good shape I've been pumping some clean fuel which is no surprise considering that the, the tank was extremely clean when I opened it up so we'll just run some diesel fuel back through here to back it all out clean it out and uh, we'll flush out and hopefully you can see in here uh, there's a little bit of uh, sediment in there, and we'll flush it with some diesel fuel in there. Okay, we put everything back together, got the part. You'll notice that I'm slightly disconnected here. I'm going to be snapping that in uh, later on, and we'll be able to drop it right back into the fuel tank. Reverse the steps to reinstall, and we're in good shape. That's all there is to it.